G163, the G stands for Grizzly Bear, was born in the spring of 2011. For the first few weeks, she would remain in the safety of the den uh, with her mother, but come springtime, mother and cub were ready to leave the den and start wandering the landscapes of Western Alberta. Eventually, G163 was able to survive on her own and her mother would be ready to breed again, so the two went their separate ways. On June 4th, 2015, G163 was spotted hanging out on the side of a dirt road just south of the town of Robb, Alberta. Two of our biologists darted G163 with a tranquilizer dart. Uh, this allows us to get close enough to collect a hair and tissue sample, which can tell us important information about the bear's health and age. We also fit her with a GPS tracking collar. Since 1998, our program has been using this kind of data to monitor how bears move across the landscape, including the different habitats they might be selecting for and features that they might be avoiding. G163's collar would continue to send us hourly locations as she moved across the landscape. So we tracked G163 throughout the summer and fall. Uh, then on November 3rd, we noticed that her collar had stopped moving. She had likely dug a den and was ready to settle down for her annual hibernation. That winter was pretty mild and spring did come early, but G163's collar kept sending that same location back to us. We had noticed that all of our other collared bears had left their dens, so we knew that it was time to check up on G163. So we arrived to the den site on April 20th. G163 had picked an excellent spot just beside a stream. We were able to find the den easily enough, but there was no sign of the bear. This was good news because it meant that she was doing fine uh, and had just moved on and left her collar behind. G163's den was pretty typical. She had dug into a small slope. The tunnel was about three feet wide and then it led down into a larger chamber. Uh, there was some moss and vegetation in there for bedding. While all of this was really interesting, we needed to find the collar. So we started digging through some of the loose dirt and rock and sure enough, G163 had buried her collar. We aren't sure if it just fell off uh, while she was digging her den and then it got covered up by the earth that she was throwing around or if she actually did it on purpose. So thank you G163 for your service to science. Your data will help us humans conserve grizzly bears all across Alberta.